Tom Surby. I'm, um, I'm I'm producer from the Czech Republic, mainly focusing on TV work. Me and my company called Not Production, we did a miniseries for European HBO called The Burning Bush, which was directed by Agnieszka Holland, who's both Oscar nominee, Emmy nominee, uh, except filmmaking in Europe, she focuses on um, TV work for American stations. We're uh, right now developing another series, crime series for HBO again, and we're working on some smaller projects for Czech television. There are basically four uh, TV channels that are uh, making um, drama and um, TV, uh, TV program and original TV program in general. The first one is Czech TV. The Czech TV as a public broadcaster is in a complicated situation, I would say. Uh, there's been major changes in the last three, four years. Uh, the Czech TV finally has stopped being politically uh, influenced by uh, the government. So, whereas in the history, every four years or after every election, the, the, the head manager, management of Czech TV was just fired. This has stopped and there is some you know, steadiness in, um, in the Czech television. So there is space for actually long-term planning and long-term programming. But uh, they, I think at the moment, they're trying to figure out what they really want and they're not quite sure. However, they invest about $10 million each year to original programming. Then there is uh, HBO. Did you ever wish for something more in life? Is that how you perceive yourself? You hope they'll agree with you? HBO does original programming. They usually commission and, uh, uh, and execute one series per year. Uh, the budget of the series tends to be around $5 million. And so far, it's been mostly formats. Uh, they did the in-treatment. Uh, currently, they're shooting uh, a series called Shall We Kiss, which is an Israeli format. Then there are two commercial stations um, called, one of them is Nova, owned by CME. The other one is Prima. Uh, Nova is the bigger one. They're basically uh, the biggest player on the market. However, they're, they are commissioning and executing their own original programming and then their own shows, but they're doing everything in-house and they're not letting any independent producers in. And then there is Prima who does exactly the same thing, basically. Nova is an exceptional case and it has been ever since it started uh, back in the 1990s. Uh, for CME, it was the main source of revenues for past 15 years. It used to hold about 50 or 60 percent of the market share in the Czech Republic, which is something that does not happen anywhere in Europe. They used to run uh, gains within 100 to 100 million dollars every year. So, if I can say that, it, it's been a cash cow for CME. Uh, and uh, right now, that has stopped. People are stopping to watch Nova. They had 40% three years ago. They had 35% two years ago. They're having around 30% this year. And it's not just because of the fragmentation of the TV market, but it's also because people are just uh, starting to watch HBO programming, they're starting to watch new programming on Czech television. So they will have to face the reality and they will have to commission some new shows. Of course, there are two problems. The first one is financial and uh, the second one is the creative. There are not enough people, there are basically no people that know how to do, how to run a good show. <sighs> As for the independent production companies in the Czech Republic, 
there are a handful of them and uh, only one or two might be able to uh, be called healthy. Um, the other ones are surviving and usually they are also producing film and documentaries and other stuff just to survive in the years where, when they don't have any actual uh, work. What the independent producers have been doing for past 10 years is they've been buying formats and offering them to TVs, options for formats. And it has worked quite well in many cases and uh, I think they have been quite successful with that. However, I would I also see and feel change in that, uh, especially change in the attitude of the of the networks or of, of the of the TV stations, because they are now demanding more original programming. Especially that's true for HBO, which is ironic because HBO has been doing two um, uh, two formats. Uh, from out of last three shows and the reason for that is they couldn't find any good um, or good quality uh, original show coming from the Czech Republic. The HBO's decision uh, to start their own programming, I mean that has changed quite a lot in the Czech Republic. With the introduction of uh, Burning Bush for instance, there has been an immense pressure from the public, especially from the press, on Czech TV, but also on the commercial broadcasters to kind of do the same level of production. Uh, so they will have to change. The other thing that will put a pressure on commercial uh, broadcasters is the internet. The Czech audience is more and more getting stuff from the internet, downloading TV series and they are, they are ceasing to watch uh, uh, the original programming done in Czech because the level of production and the, way of the, the level of storytelling is so different. Our approach to um, to doing TV shows in, in the Czech Republic is uh, putting much more money into development and much more focus and energy. Uh, we're trying to stay in development for a year or two years. We're paying the screenwriters much better. Uh, for example, uh, all of the Czech TV shows are usually written by one or two people. We're trying to change that and we're introducing the, the writing room with six or seven writers, uh, the head writer, you know, the showrunner. We're, yeah, so basically we're building something that's been built in America for 20, 30 years. To be effective, it's important that we be as honest as we can with each other. I think the Czech market is still very small. Even though the Czech Republic is one of the richer countries out of the Eastern Bloc, it is still uh, very small and not very financially attractive for the big players. What I've noticed in last two, three years is that there has been some scouting of talents done, for instance, by Fox and other companies. They're looking for interesting directors and they're looking for interesting writers. But except that, I am, I'm not really seeing anything else.